r slash ask reddit what was normal to have in 2010 but not 2020 funny ringtones everyone had some ridiculous comedy ringtone for a couple of years there and then in like 2011 we just mutually decided as a culture to keep our phones on vibrate except old people on trains bingly bong bong dingly dong dong deadly do 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 oh 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 mulatto butts lana cell phone with a physical keyboard i miss the duck out of my room at touch any respect for jared the subway guy I went on a small subway date with a girl around 2011-2012. The restaurant had a signed, framed pair of his pants on display. That was weird to write. Edit. The subway restaurant had the pants. Not the girl. You big silly gooses. Edit 2. That was the last time we hung out with any romantic prospects. She had to focus on university and I was starting an intense year of school myself so we just agreed nothing was clicking. I've completely lost touch with her so I wouldn't even call us friends. If I'm being honest, I'm all partnered up now and very happy. Subway date. All those live strong tight landfill bracelets for everything. Landfill bracelets yes. This exactly. What an utter waste of silicone. I dunno. I never thought my Colbert Report wrist strong bracelet was a waste of silicone. Edit. Whoa. Thanks for all the love. I had no idea that a throwaway thought about about a landfill bracelet would be my new top rated comment. I think it is abundantly clear that we all need to be wrist strong in these trying times. Also, the political nuts that came out of the woodwork. Thanks for the laughs. And you'll need a little wrist strong the most. A separate device for music from your cell phone. I still use my iPod for music, especially when I'm on the road. Don't want to run out of battery on my phone because I'm listening to music non-stop edit. To all the people that tell me to charge my phone in the car, I already answered this to another comment. I mostly walk everywhere. I rarely drive. When I walk through the woods or streets for example I don't like a cable hanging out of my trousers back pockets when using a power bank. When I'm in the car, obviously I use my car phone charger. I respect that you prefer to listen to your music on your phone, but listening to music with my iPod and doing everything else on my phone just works best for me personally. I never thought I'd get aggressive messages because I say I enjoy listening to music on my iPod more than on my phone. Some of you really need to chill at it. Also shout out to the nice comments from everyone else. Thank you for your stories about why you prefer either iPod MP3 slash USB or phone for your music. In the end we just all enjoy music. Same here. I like my 64GB iPod that still has room for music. My phone doesn't need to have music on it with the iPod around. So I have more room for other stuff. Like tons of Excel spreadsheets I keep track of spending. Among other things. Um. Edit. From many of the responses. It appears that not many people realize that the Excel files aren't the only thing on the phone. But rather just one example. And yes, I know how small Excel files can be, and how big, some of the ones I use in my job are 29, 476 kilobytes, and we have 8 of them needed every 2 weeks loaded with macros, on the music front. Could I stream it? Sure, but then I would have to take into account the data usage when away from Wi-Fi, and it's a shit ton easier when the internet does go out to not have to worry about it and still be able to listen to music. Please enjoy the music while your party is reached. Proceeds to blast some deep freed orchestra music. I work in a call center and make outbound calls to clients we are assigned to. Not spam. They call us first for help. Every once in a while you start AI learn and get someone who is probably paying $5 a month for this and has no idea. The moment you head please enjoy this music you rip your headset away to prevent hearing loss. 99c actually. I offer to remove it for people all the time but they still want it for some reason. Edit. Due to popular demand. Here is the ancient part of the Verizon website where you can still do this. HTTPS. M. Media Store. Verizon Wireless. Com Mobile Content Store slash 2. 0 slash Index. JSP View equals Landing Page RBT and Content equals RBT. Swine Flu. Don't worry we've got the next best thing. This virus has everything. Those chipmunk remixes of pop music. God I hated those. 
Oh god. Every single song had a chipmunk version on YouTube. Rip, edit, spelling cause I'm an idiot. Don't worry, they are all on a music, open bracket, and probably all those other music services too. I still have them on my 4GB Philips MP3 player. A Vuvuzela. Woo. Holy shit was that 10 years ago? A Blackberry phone. Ping. Miss being able to text accurately in class without looking at my phone. Also, extremely satisfying feeling typing on BB keyboard edit. I'm not still in school. Probably shouldn't have said in class. Extremely relatable. BBM was great also. Rage Comics. Trollface 2. It's how I started Reddit. 1000 bitcoins. I'm still kicking myself. Probably less than those of us who had them but left them on old machines or deleted the wallets. Comma. I. Three boobies wristbands. Ugh I remember that whole wristband thing. My friend was all about those. He'd collect them. People looking like Xerxes from 300 with all the bands up their arms ha ha ha. No opinion on Donald Trump. The billionaire with funny hair from that TV show? Why would I have an opinion on that guy? I mean I guess the show is fine even if to pay money boy does seem a bit pushy. You perfectly summed up my thoughts on him prior to the 2016 election lol. A still functioning flip phone with no access to the internet. You mean a flip phone with an internet button that made you freak out when you accidentally clicked it? That shit could get expensive real quick. Yeah dude. When you clicked that you knew your mom would beat the shit out of you for those 2 minutes you spent searching for lyrics of a song. Things with moustaches on them. I remember I had a pair of shades that had moustaches on them and I thought they were so pimping. Also galaxy theme everything. Pimping now that's a word I haven't heard in a while. A hem swag. Not many people talk about we but I feel like that was the real shit. Yeah but if you gained weight since your last log and it goes oh. In a super surprised and judgy way. Edit thank you for my first silver. That always bothered me so much. I'd set a goal to maintain my weight. Come back two weeks later weighing zero. One pounds more than I did before and it'd go. Oh. And my avatar would look all sad and the a-hole balance board would tell me I failed. Piece of shit. Tickets to a Bill Cosby stand-up show. There's a really cool Bill Cosby drinking game. Laugh at one of his jokes. One drink enjoy an episode of the Cosby show two drinks meet him in real life. Drink till incoherent and unconscious. Which is still one drink. Silly bands. Those were the shit when I was in elementary school. You were considered cool. Ah yeah, I had hundreds of those. The glow and the dark ones were the best. A PSP. I have a PSP Go that I still use today. Perfect for emulating and it's pretty easy to find ISO of most PSP games. Just downloaded the PSP version of Castlevania. Symphony of the Night. Edit. Thank you all for the cake day greetings. I feel so loved. Face with big pleading eyes. An email account other than Gmail. A Hotmail account. Oh yeah. Still have mine. 21 years and going strong. Burnt CDs that you wrote on top of. Edit. I never thought burnt CDs would cause so much controversy. Some say they still use them today and others say it was long before 2010. I graduated HS in 2010. And we all had old cars at 18 years old that played CDs or cassettes. You were real lucky to have an aux port and the FM transmitters were trash then. Now I use a cassette with an aux cord in my even older car. Woman shrugging. LOL. I just burnt yet another album onto a CD since it never got a physical release. And I made a few compilation CDs. Only reason is because I hate radio and the aux USB ports in my car no longer work. Fear of the world ending in 2012. Edit. Wow. Didn't expect this many people to see this. Thanks guys. And yeah. I get that most people didn't actually fear the end of the world. But you can't deny that it was part of the culture back then. I was in high school and everyone always talked and joked about it. Now everyone just wishes it ended in 2012. Maybe it did. And now everyone is in hell. A clear winner in the debate of which Star Wars trilogy was the worst. Oh damn. Yes, I remember. Simpler times. The most liked sequel film is a ripoff of episode 4. 
CD DVD drive. Yesterday I took my laptop out. It's a ThinkPad I run CAD stuff on. I wanted to play Absolute Fabulous DVD because I'm sick and bored, and wanted to lay in bed. Then I realized, I don't have a device with a DVD CD player. My tower doesn't have one. My laptop doesn't have. I can't even recall when was the last I needed one other than last night. Everything from programs to media I basically have either online or on USB storage. Edit. Okay. Since I know I'll get a lot more comments about this. I don't have a gaming console. I don't even have a TV to plug it into. I bought a laptop within the last year and this was one of the criteria. It needed to have a DVD drive. I watch a lot of stuff on my computer. I still have a lot of DVDs. I want to be able to play them. It was one of the only ones that had one. A landline. I have a landline because it comes with the cable and internet. I don't have a phone for it though. And I'd have to look in the phone book for my number. But it's there. I'm somebody now. My name in print for thousands of people to see. Apparently hand sanitizer. And Costco toilet paper. A movie produced by Harvey Weinstein. TBH. You can hate the guy but love and enjoy the art he helped produce it up the guy though. I hope he dies a slow and painful death. Toilet paper and food on shelves. I visited a Walmart that was a half hour away from a major metropolitan area today. Toilet paper was wiped out. Disinfectant wipes were out of stock. Hand sanitizer was gone. And isopropyl alcohol was nowhere to be found. People are nuts. How has no one said Heelys? Kids with Heelys ducked. They're still around. I see kids goofing off with them at work from time to time. Serotonin. Boots with the fur edit. Thank you for my first silver. Good human. Quite. And them apple bottom jeans. Wit the fur. A 2010 calendar. IDK. Leftover 2010 calendars will perfectly match up all the weekend days of the week with 2021. Open bracket. Season changes and holiday dates might be different. In cases where they are not based directly on calendar dates or the combination of calendar dates or days of the week. Apple presentations from Steve Jobs. A GPS mounted in your car. I still use it. In rural Australia you have no phone signal. So have to rely on them tom tom. Herd immunity. Hope. Only one ducking streaming service. As opposed to 2020. Where I now started a DVD collection. Shake weights. A digital camera. This being said. Digital cameras are often far superior to phones. Despite what megapixel specs might lead you to believe, you need a slightly bigger form factor to have a good lens and big sensor. A Nintendo Wii. I still see a lot of them. People didn't throw them out and a lot of the casuals never upgraded. An iPad. Privacy. Privacy in 2010? Romeo. Privacy died in 2001. A MySpace account still up. A Webkins account. Troll face on your profile pic on any social media. A cigarette. In 2010 you could still smoke on patios. A Golden State Warriors game without any fans. CRT monitors rip my beautiful 50 pound Samsung Sync Master 24 inches CRT beast. You were perfect for all my CS1. 6 needs. A sense that the words presidential candidate Donald Trump were funny. Whoa. You made it to the end, you're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.